Hello, Form A. Uh, this is a tutorial on how to make your own 3D printed bow tie. Um, it is different than previous tutorials because there is not a step-by-step -step lesson that you follow in Tinkercad. Instead, you're going to use a couple other websites to um, add designs to a 3D printed bow tie template. Okay. So first things first, you want to make sure that you are signed into your uh, Tinkercad account. Um, and you click on this thing called 3D Designs, uh, and you're going to create um, a new design. So you click on Create a New Design, and it will open up for us um, a blank work plane. All right, blank work plane. Um, the first thing that we want to do is we want to change the name of our file. It randomly assigns us some weird name. I mean, so we want to re uh, do this um, so that we um, call it Bowtie. Uh, and then um, include our first initial and last name. Okay, so that when we save this um, and export it to Google Classroom, um, it's got the right title. So again, take care of the title now. Now we need to get our bow tie template uh, loaded into our uh, work plane. So the way that we do that, uh, we're gonna go to Google Classroom. Uh, and so we're logged in here to Science and Google Classroom. And we scroll down here to the Tinkercad Bowtie Assignment. And then there are a couple different files here. One is called Bowtie Template. And so we will click on Bowtie Template. And we need to download it. So we're going to download it to our computer. Um, we have the Bowtie Template. All right. So now we go back to our uh, Tinkercad. And there is a button up here called Import, up in the upper right-hand corner called Import. We click import, um, and so then we need to grab our 3D printed file, wherever it may be. And then once it has loaded itself, we then click on import. And it may take a while. Uh, it's a pretty large file, um, the template for the bow tie. Um, so just be patient um, as it is importing the file. All right. So now you've got your bow tie on your work plan. It looks pretty nice, uh, like so. This back portion right here, uh, this is what clips into uh, your top button uh, on your dress shirts, uh, so you can wear these. Um, and again, these bow ties are dress code approved um, for wearing here at school uh, when we uh, wear our ties and, and dress shirts, okay? So you can clip that right on. So this is all fine and good, but we want to personalize this. It's, it's not any good uh, without a design on it. Um, and so um, there's a couple of things that we can uh, do to put a design onto it. Um, the first thing is, is sometimes people like to put their initials or, or other words. Um, and so we can grab the text uh, button down here uh, from it. Um, and then with this text, uh, you can type in whatever you want. I'm just going to do my initials, J, T, oops. ATM. Okay. And then I need to stand that up um, to be able to put it um, on the way. So I'm grabbing this rotate arrow and I'll stand it up like that. And I look at it. Oh, it's backwards. So I need to then um, rotate it around. So now I've got it there. Oops, that did not work. Let's try that one more time. There we go. So now I've got my JTM. Um, that's a little on the big side. Uh, and so I'm going to grab one of these. I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard. And so then I can pull it down to make it a little bit smaller. Okay. Now I need to put this uh, onto my bow tie. And so I can raise it up and grab this little triangle. This little black triangle allows me to, to raise it up. If, say, I wanted it to um, be centered, um, I could do that. I'm going to highlight both of my objects um, and use the align tool. And so then I can have it centered in this way. I'm going to bring them um, both together. Now you can see with, by doing that, uh, my JTM is now inside. And I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to undo that. Um, but I'm centered. Or I could uh, bring it a little bit over to the left. Um, I'm going to choose to have my JTM be over on this one. And so I can then put it, you know, as and you can kind of see it starts to disappear. If I put it too far in, you know, then it starts to come out the other side. So we don't want that. Um, but the key thing is, is that you want to be able um, to have every part of it um, touching the bow tie. If I, if I move it out a little bit, um, you can see that the J is touching there. 
um, but at the end, there's like a space in between that. And so we don't want that. So we can um, bring it back. But by doing that, ooh, my J gets a little bit hidden. Um, and so we're going to pull it out a little bit um, forward um, so that I can then see it all sticking out. Uh, and so by doing that, if once I've got it where I want it, which it looks pretty, uh, pretty good, and I can highlight everything, group it. Give it a second. And so now I have the JTM attached to my bow tie uh, going forward. Now here it's sticking out, but you could, if you wanted to, you could have it carve into the bow tie. And so to do that, I'm going to ungroup. Um, and so instead of having my JTM be a solid, I'm going to have it be a whole. Okay. And so then I group everything uh, with it being a whole. And you can see that then it carved it in quite nicely uh, into it. Okay, so you have a carved in feature. You can do it either way. Um, it's your choice if you want it carved in or, or sticking out. Um, perfectly fine um, either way. So that's how you do text um, and put it onto the bow tie, having it stick out. Um, but if you want to have some kind of other design, say a, a logo of, of some sports team or uh, you know some company or something like that, um, and you wanted to put it on your bow tie, um, there is a, a, a second step that needs to um, happen. First, you need to uh, find your logo, okay? Find wherever your logo is. And so I'm gonna do smiley face. And I click on images. And the key thing is, is that you want a very simple image. You want um, lots of clean lines. So, so in this case, like this or this is not gonna do well on the 3D printer at all. Um, you want something that's gonna be um, a whole lot simpler. So here, this is very simple. Uh, you know, happy face. Here's one that's, you know, nice as well. So let's say I want this happy face. Color does not matter, um, but there is my happy face. And so I'm just going to copy or I'm going to save this image. All right, not copy it. I'm going to save this image. So I'm going to download this image. Um, and I'm just going to put it into my downloads um, smiley face. All right. So I now have this sign, the smiley face um, saved in my downloads. But right now, it's just a two-dimensional image. Um, and I need to convert that two-dimensional image into a 3D object so that I can then import it into Tinkercad. And so if I go to Classwork, there is another website called Convertio. Kind of uh, funny, but Convertio. So if I click on Convertio, I, I can now convert that 2D file, um, a JPEG or a PNG, um, or GIF into a three-dimensional file. So I'm going to click on choose files and I'm going to go to downloads and there's my smiley face. So I open it up and then I have to change it. So I'm going to change the smiley face uh, picture and it's going to be as an image and I'm going to change it to what's called an SVG file. Okay, an SVG file. So choose SVG and then you click on the red button here, convert. And it might take a moment. Um, it has to upload your picture and then convert it. Uh, and so give it a moment. Um, and so it is converting it. Again, you do not need to sign up for this website at all. Um, so now it is finished. And so now I can download the smiley face as an SVG. So I'm gonna download it as an SVG file. It goes into my downloads. And so then when I go back into Tinkercad and I wanna put my, I wanna bring my smiley face in here, I'm going to import it. And again, I grab it from my uh, downloads. Now it says that my file is too, or the size of it is too big, right? So again, you may have to change your dimensions. Um, and so I'm just gonna change it to a hundred. That's, that's the size of my bow tie. Um, and so if I change it to a hundred, both things automatically change it uh, to that. So I make sure my dimensions are a hundred or less, and then I click on import. Again, depending on how complicated your design is, um, it can be, you know, it takes a while for it to import, but there is my smiley face. So I want to add that to uh, my picture. Again, it's a little on the big side. I'm going to hold shift and grab one of the corners to kind of shrink it down. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, rotate it up. Now it's standing like that. And I'm going to raise it up. And for this case, I'm going to make sure that it's going to be aligned 
up and down so it's right in the center. So there it is right in the center of it. And that's still kind of a little on the big side. So we're going to shrink that down. Again, I'm holding shift, make it a little bit smaller. And again, that means that I need to align it again. So there's that. And so now I got to bring my smiley face in. I find using the arrow keys is really helpful in this kind of part where you can bring it in. Uh, and again, you can see that some of my smiley face got kind of taken in there. So I'm going to make it a little fatter. Um, I'm going to make it a five. So it'll stick out. Does that work? Oh, nope. I need to make it a little fatter. Let's go seven. And we can make it, we can come out a little bit. There we go. So now I've got my smiley face. And again, I want to make sure all the parts are touching. Um, it all looks really good. And I'm going to move it over a little bit to the side. Again, I'm checking to make sure all the parts are touching. And then I can just group it, grabbing everything together. And so now I have a sticking out smiley face and an engraved JTM for my bow tie. Again, to uh, add this to uh, Google Classroom, I need to, um, it's not a lesson. And so you're going to end up having to export it or you can take a screenshot of it to then um, be able to put it. Because I think if we export, uh, we export it as an STL or maybe it's in here, hold on. Design, oh, we can make it public. Sorry, go to properties. Make it public, save changes, and then here, properties. Oops. Um, there it is. And then you can add it to Google Classroom. Sorry. So that is how it is. Again, title, Bowtie J, J. Miller, and uh, you need to add some sort of design to it, uh, your initials or your or a logo. And that's all. Thank you.